Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm Kit and today we're going to talk about slugs. <laughs> They're a nightmare in a veg garden. Um, I've tried many different ways of getting rid of the slugs. Uh, I've tried the copper bands around the plant pots and stuff, that did nothing. Uh, they literally just climbed straight over it. Um, when I first started, I did use some slug pellets, but uh, a lot of them have got poisons in them, which is bad for wildlife. Because uh, the slugs die after eating them, then the hedgehogs eat the slugs. And then you've got other things that will eat the hedgehogs or the mice and stuff. It goes into the uh, food cycle, into the circle, and it can just work its way up and eventually get into dogs and cats and foxes and all sorts. So it's just not good to use poison in your garden at all. Uh, in my opinion, they should all be banned. Um, so, we're going to talk about sacrificial plants, um, mainly, well, almost entirely, marigolds. So, I've grown loads of these marigolds this year, um, specifically for this purpose. So, I don't care if these get eaten by the slugs, because uh, that's the whole purpose of growing them. Uh, I'll show you this one here. It's been on the top shelf of my greenhouse, and the slugs have already found its way up to it nibbled through half the stem but you can see how the plants recovered already uh, it's just knocked it back a bit so the good thing about marigolds is they're really tough they just keep growing and growing the slug can eat it down to the stem practically and it will it will regrow and um, i'll show you here even if a slug nipped off the entire top as you can already see there it's got two new shoots waiting to come up so it would recover um pretty quickly and the idea is the plant needs um, relatively close to your crops, which you want to protect, but not right next to them because you want to draw the slugs towards the marigold. Uh, so maybe go for like a meter or two meters away from your veg that you want to uh, deter the slugs from. And normally what I used to do, and it did work quite well the past couple of years, uh, is to dot them around the veg. The problem there is that you then, you're having to go around all different areas and pick off the slugs and they're, they're being drawn all over the place. So uh, they'll be heading towards it and then they'll go past something, have a nibble. So I think the best bet is to do little clumps of maybe three or four marigold plants uh, relatively close to your veg. And then hopefully they will be all drawn towards that. You can go out just before it gets dark dusk is a great time because that's when they all come out when it starts cooling down um, if you really want to attract them as well water your marigolds just before it gets dark and the slugs will be straight over and you'll see they'll they'll just chomp on them so if you get out quick you can gather them up stick them in a big bucket just a bucket of water or something just to kill them um, unfortunately we will have to kill them because wherever you throw them uh, they'll just come back again uh, unless you've got some ducks or something like we have and then i just collect them all up chuck them in the duck coop and they eat them uh, that's that's the only way you can do it um so uh, what i'm going to do now is i'm going to show you how i would plant these outside so we head out and i haven't got too much in the ground yet um that i'm really worried about with slugs and the peas i've already had because i put them out before I did the marigolds, so most of them they've already had, but I'm not too worried about that. So um, we we'll head over there, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with these marigolds. Okay, so I've got two trays of these marigolds. These are French marigolds. Uh, you can use either French or African marigolds. Uh, when you buy your marigolds, make sure that they are actually marigolds. So the scientific name, unfortunately this packet didn't actually tell you the scientific name, so I just googled French tiger eyes marigolds and I found the scientific name which is Taggett's Patula. Uh, it has to start with Taggett's, that's the marigold. Um, ignore the last bit, that's just the variety like French or African or Mexican. Uh, as long as it starts with Taggett's it will release the smell which will attract the slugs. Um, if you see any pot marigolds, like these ones, they may look like marigolds, and they're obviously called pot marigolds. 
but the scientific name is Calendula officinalis, which is not actually a marigold. <laughs> so that can be a bit deceiving. So just make sure it starts with tagates and you'll be fine. So that's the whole species of marigolds. I think there's about 40 to 60 different types, something like that. I'm not entirely sure. That's just a rough guess. But anyway, so these are quite healthy. They're nice, strong plants now. Uh, so they're ready to go out. So I'll take you over to the veg garden and we'll plant a few little clumps and I'll just show you how I do it. Okay, everyone, so I'm out in the veg garden now. Um, luckily, I haven't really got much out at the moment, which I'm really worried about the slugs eating. Uh, the only thing is the peas over there. So I will do a clump in front of the peas. Uh, they won't touch the strawberries. They don't tend to touch garlic. And I'll do a clump in between the peas and I've got some carrots and beetroot in there. So they will eat them, but they're not overly attracted to beetroot and carrots. And this is all potatoes here. Uh, again, they will eat potatoes, but they're not overly interested in potatoes. But I'll do a clump in front of the potatoes here as well. And I've got a whole row of sunflowers in there, uh, which I planted the other day uh, in a different video, if you want to go and have a look at that. Um, they do eat sunflowers, but these were quite established, so they're about a foot tall, and they've got really hairy stems, so they don't tend to eat them too badly. Uh, but I will do a little um, a little clump around the sunflower somewhere. I might do two on either side. And we'll see how they go. Um, everything else that the slugs will eat, I haven't planted out yet. So um, I haven't seen too many slugs this year. So I think the past couple of years, I've kind of got on top of them and got the population in, the, in this whole area down a bit, hopefully. So anyway, uh, I'll just bring you in closer and um, we'll take a few of these marigold plants before you go for clumps of four and um, just because I've done trays of 12 so I can get three clumps out of each tray so I'm placing more or less where I'm thinking about growing them so I think a nice little clump there as long as it's easily accessible for you when you're coming out here to get the slugs off that's the main thing and relatively close to what you want to protect so I'll do two clumps there and I'll just do one more down there and I'll save the other tray let them grow on a little bit more uh, just in case all these get eaten straight away so I'll just put another clump in down there and I won't bother with the potatoes uh, I'm fairly confident that they won't touch the potatoes Anyway, so I'll bring you in closer and I'll just show you how I'm going to plant these. Okay, so um, I'm just going to do these in a little clump, sort of something like that, um, a few inches apart, quite close together. And So I'll just dig a hole there for them. Just churn up this soil here. I'm going to do them quite close to the sunflowers. Um, just because I don't want them right in the middle of the veg bed. Because uh, other stuff is going to be planted around here as well soon. So um, they'll also protect that once I've got it planted. I'm just breaking up the soil here. Okay, so I'm just going to make a hole for the first one. Take it out of the pot. There's some nice roots on that one. And I'll just gently place it in the hole. Hopefully you can see what I'm up to. 
and just backfill with soil and firm it down. And I'll do the next one about three or four inches away from that one. Do exactly the same thing. I'll just firm it in. Same thing with the next two. I'll just squeeze the bottom of the pot and give it a tap, should come out quite easy. And just backfill with soil. And then uh, the soil is quite moist, but we'll give them a little water each. And I'll make sure they they don't dry out over the next few days. But once they've got their roots down, um, pretty drought tolerant. Uh, that's the main reason you see them planted everywhere in the roundabouts and stuff because they don't have to look after them. They just grow away. <laughs> so I'll get the next few clumps in. Okay, so I've got three clumps out here now. So I've just put one here in between the what's left of my peas and I've got two rows of carrots in there, you can see them there, they're only just starting to come up so uh, they will eat them but they don't seem overly keen on carrots. Uh, this is whole area here has got loads of beetroot in it so I don't really want them being eaten so I've put the row of marigolds there and uh, I can still access it from uh, that middle area there has got nothing growing and I can walk through the middle of the potatoes to get to there so as long as it's with an easy access and not amongst your things but close to them so the potatoes in here loads of potatoes in there uh, the slugs aren't interested in potatoes and uh, they might eat the actual potatoes growing underneath but they don't seem interested in the foliage and I've put these two um, clumps in here. Um, another real quick tip, uh, if you do plant a little clump like this, you just push a hole in, like an indent into the middle there, and you can just pour your water spray in there. Um, <laughs> makes it a bit easier. So, uh, that's all there is to it. Okay, so um, that's all there is to it really guys. So I think this is the way to go against the slugs. So I've got another tree here, uh, but I'm going to keep them in the greenhouse uh, until I've got a few more bits planted out because, like I said, I haven't got too much out here that I'm worried about at the moment. But I do have another tree of 12 there. So I've got two clumps in there and a clump down there. Uh, so if you've got any other questions, guys, feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, I will try and get some footage. Um, I don't know if I put this on before or what point during the video, but uh, I will come out here tonight and I'll try and get some footage of all the slugs coming towards them, if there is any, because like I said, I haven't really seen any yet, but they'll be around soon. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be back with a vengeance. Anyway, um, thanks so much for watching guys. Uh, any questions down below, feel free to like the video and subscribe.
and I hope you all have a great week, and I'll see you on the next one.